So let's look at an example using the quotient rule. So here's a function which is an obvious candidate for using the quotient rule. We have the quotient of two functions, polynomial on top and sine function on the bottom. So the quotient rule can be understood as follows. The derivative of 5x squared over sine x is going to be, so it's going to be the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom and the whole thing is over the bottom squared. sine squared x. Okay. All right, we're not done. We still have some derivatives to take, so let's take those. Uh, the derivative of x squared is 2x times 5 gives us 10x times sine x minus 5x squared times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. And the whole thing is over sine squared x. And this is the point at which you stop. Uh, there, there's not much else you can do with this. There's no need to try to simplify further. Again, unless maybe you're doing a problem where you want to figure out something like, let's say, where f prime of x is equal to 0. Uh, in which case, perhaps you want to factor the x out from the numerator, um, see where it goes from there. Um, I guess you can factor a 5x out, right? You can factor the numerator, the denominator, there's not much you can do. Leave it as sine squared x. Um, but again, if for, for the chapter on derivatives where you're just being asked to compute derivatives, once there are no derivatives left to, left to take, you're done, right? You've done the derivative, it's there, you can stop at this point. There's no need to simplify further. All that's going to do is invite algebraic errors.